When you walk through the streets of Goma, the capital of North Kivu province, it's hard to imagine that about 10 kilometers from our current position is where government troops have been engaging rebel forces. Trade, commerce and life continues as normal, even through some of the worst fighting experience in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> We stay here because we have nowhere to run. We pray to God to keep us safe because if the enemy reaches Goma, there is nowhere to run. We are used to it and there's nothing we can do. We can't stay hungry, so we have to struggle and make sure our children have food on the table. But it's not just about a resilient people. The residents of this city with a population of about a million are also very welcoming. Now it may have something to do with some of the problems they've experienced in the past or they just have a big heart. Whatever the case, most of the people fleeing the fighting in surrounding areas always end up here, some hosted by local families. Sisi wa Kongomani, ndani yetu ndani ya roho yetu. We Congolese have a lot of love in our hearts. If my brother has fled Kibati or Uchuru, I can't just leave him sleeping on the streets. Even at my home, if there is a family with 10 children, I won't let them sleep outside. It is something inside all Congolese nationals. It doesn't matter how small the shelter is. We can't ignore the suffering of our brothers and sisters. We come together. It's our nature. On the surface, everything appears normal, but below it, there are just too many problems. This conflict has taken its toll on the city, its people, and the economy. And it's only until the fighting well and truly stops that the city can realize its full potential. Robert Magilla, CCTV, Goma.